hey what is up everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel again it's been a long time <laughs> so yeah today in this video i'm going to be showing you how we can install one ui 6.1 android 14 on your samsung galaxy m52 5g so yeah let's get into the video so as we all know one ui 5.1 is the last update released for the samsung galaxy m52 but thanks to our developer support we have one ui 6.1 for the galaxy m52 big thanks to salvo gianjari for doing this so yeah this is the unica rom and here are the features let me just read some of them real quick so yeah the base firmware is based on the galaxy s23 firmware so you take the base firmware from the galaxy s23 and somehow port it to make it work on the galaxy m52 and the other features include you have galaxy ai support live blur support adaptive color tone adaptive refresh rate extra brightness picture remaster object shadow and reflection eraser support you also have samsung Dex in this rom so yeah that's pretty cool and some other features as well and all the galaxy m52 5g device variants are supported so no matter which variant you have it is supported by this rom so yeah before you do this you need to have your phone's bootloader unlocked and install twrp recovery or any of your preferred recovery and keep in mind doing this process will erase all your data so you need to create a backup before you do this scroll down and head over to the download section click on this blue link and here you will be taken to the github page and this rom is also available for many other devices the galaxy a52 a52 5g a52 s 5g a71 a72 a73 m52 s20 fe s21 fe yeah so s22 s22 plus so uh, there's like a wide range of support for devices so as this video is based on the galaxy m52 i'm going to be downloading for the galaxy m52 5g so here you can choose any of your favorite link to download the zip file i'm just going to choose gofile.io and here you can just hit ctrl f and type in your device model i'm going to type in m52 and here it is just follow the line and then hit the download button after you click on the download button the download will start i'm not gonna download it now as i have already downloaded it to save some time and here's the uh, zip file so yeah next what you need to do is you need to copy the zip file to your phone's sd card now when you try to copy the zip file to your phone's sd card you might get an error saying that the file is too large for the file system so at this point what you need to do is you need to reformat your sd card to exfat file system this is because fat32 won't accept files that are bigger than 4 gigabytes so since the file is bigger than 4 gigabytes it's 4.2 gigabytes it won't copy so yeah format your sd card to the exfat file system and then you can copy the file without any problems as you can see i have already copied the file just to save some time so now what you need to do is you need to boot your phone into the recovery mode and then flash the zip file so on the newer samsung devices you need to first connect your phone to your pc only then the phone will boot into the recovery mode so once you boot into the recovery mode uh yeah as you probably know to boot into the recovery mode it's volume up and the power button hold them simultaneously until you see the twrp logo and now first when we get into the recovery you need to click on wipe advanced wipe Dalvik ART cache, cache, metadata, data, internal storage and again this will wipe all your data so make sure you have created a backup and then here swipe to wipe and it's okay if it shows an error select back go back again select format data type in the word yes okay now select back go back again select reboot and then this time select recovery so the phone is going to reboot back into the recovery mode press the power button to skip the warning all right so the phone's back in twrp recovery mode let me reduce the brightness a little bit turn off all the vibrations and stuff okay so now what you need to do is you need to select install and then browse to where you have stored the rom zip file so mine is on the sd card and it's on the root folder so if i scroll down i see the zip file over here just tap on it and then swipe to confirm the flash 
now again you need to just play the waiting game so yeah this might take some time just let it finish don't touch anything So yeah, once the flashing process is complete, don't press anything, select back, go back, go completely to the home screen of the TWRP recovery, select reboot, select recovery, and then your phone is going to again reboot back into the recovery mode. And now you need to select wipe, advanced wipe, Talvik slash ART cache, cache metadata data internal storage and then swipe to wipe again if it shows the error it's fine select back and this time go back again and then choose format data and then type in the word yes and then finally select reboot system now again it's another waiting game so as this is the first boot it will take some time so yeah, just let it finish through the booting process. So yeah, let me just finish up the setup real quick and as you can see we have successfully booted into the one UI 6.1 ROM and as you can see we are running one UI 6.1 let me just confirm you that about phone software information one UI version 6.1.1 and at version 14 and I think you almost get all the features from the Galaxy S23 oh yeah look at that Galaxy AI I think that will require a Samsung account and all those stuff oh so, yeah that is it for this video guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video